Hi, I'm Rika Holland, a scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research. We use computer models to study the climate system. This includes interactions between the ocean, atmosphere, land, and sea ice, and how they change over time. These models solve equations that simulate snow on top of the ice, when the snow starts to melt, how thick the ice gets, and lots of other details. For this study of the Arctic, we're looking at the percent of open water that's covered by ice, which we call the ice concentration. At the upper right, you'll see a color scale with ice concentration percentages from 100% in white to zero, or open water, in the dark blue. The color scale at the lower right will show the range of sea surface temperatures, or SSTs. Near freezing is dark blue. At the top of the scale, 33 Celsius, over 90 degrees Fahrenheit, is dark red. This simulation compares our computer modeling to what's actually happening in the ice from 1979 to 2007. We've had satellites looking down on the Arctic since 1979, measuring ice concentration since that time. The red line shows the area where satellites have seen at least 15% of the ocean surface covered by ice. You can see how that shape expands each winter and shrinks each summer, and how our simulation matches up quite well with these observations. These simulations take the observed record of greenhouse gases, erupting volcanoes, and variations in the sun into account. For this animation, we're simulating the climate from 1850 to present and projections of how conditions could change in the future to look at one time of year, September. That's when the Arctic ice concentration is at its lowest. We use environmental and historical records of greenhouse gases and variations in the sun until 2005, when we start projecting future human behavior, how much greenhouse gases we will add to the atmosphere into the future. Beginning in 1850, for the first 100 years or so, the ice varies a bit from year to year, but the overall amount is quite stable. Then, around 1990, things start to change, and we start to see greater summer losses of the ice cover. By 2100, the Arctic in September is essentially ice-free in these simulations. We're not predicting the exact year at which this happens, but our simulation shows just how quickly summertime ice cover could disappear in the next 50 to 100 years. So why do we care? Well, sea ice plays a very important role in the climate system and acts to regulate the Earth's temperature. Sea ice is a very bright surface, so as we lose the sea ice, we expose the dark open ocean. That open ocean absorbs about 90% of the sunlight that hits it, as opposed to sea ice, which reflects most of the sunlight back to space. So as you move from an ice-covered to an open ocean situation, you absorb a great deal more heat. That heat causes further ice melt to occur, which causes more heat to be absorbed in the system. So you get into this vicious cycle, which acts to amplify warming in the climate system.